Hello everyone, hope you have watched the overview and the antenna videos before coming to this one. In this video, we will do a deep dive on the radios or the remote radio units of Samsung deployed at the site. Now that I have mentioned Samsung as the radio vendor, you will probably have an idea about the operator. Well, it is Reliance Geo Infocom or RGIL or simply Geo as it is called now. The Spectrum Band was the first giveaway for me, you know, uh, to find the operator. Beyond that, I found small labels hanging from the radio units mentioning RJIL. If you simply visit this cell site and have no clue about mobility, you will never ever figure out the operator running this cell site. Now that we have mentioned the Spectrum, let us talk about it. It is the 150 megahertz Spectrum, which is configured at this site for all the sectors which means all the radios are tuned to that frequency. If you look at the radios, you will know that they can operate at other frequencies too, like 1800 MHz and 2300 MHz, which are valid spectrum for LT deployment in India. Now coming to 850 MHz spectrum, well, it was originally used for CDMA or 3G deployment by Reliance. Later, they have reused that spectrum for 4G, the common name for this uh, 850 MHz spectrum is cellular and the band is 5. Uh, the supported channel bandwidths are 1.4, 3, 5 and 10 MHz. So that important high LT channel bandwidth of 20 MHz is missing from this band. The coverage area is around 125 km, so that is pretty huge. And the lesser the frequency, greater the coverage as you already I'm just flashing you a table right now that shows you Reliance Geo is using band 5 in West Bengal in the state of India where I am currently stationed. So enough of this spectrum talk, let us look at the bottom view of the radios. Uh, just like the antenna, the radios have the ant port where the jumper cables connect from the antenna. Uh, there is this RET port which again connects to the antenna via the AISG cable. Beyond that we have the SIPRI port which is a fiber connecting the radio to the baseband, uh, the power port, and finally a port for grounding of the device. If you look at the color labels on these cables, you can easily point to the antenna and the ports these connect to, the fiber for SIPRI, which is carrying digitized IQ data along with synchronization and CNM channels is also labeled. So ideally there are nine SIPRI connectors from the nine radios at this site. As we don't know the channel bandwidth, we can uh, calculate frontal bandwidth based on the highest possible numbers of the 850 megahertz spectrum. Uh, let us say the channel bandwidth is 10 megahertz and the MIMO layer is 4 cross 4. In that case, the possible frontal CP rate is option 3. Now over 3 sectors and 9 radios, that is around 250 Gbps of frontal traffic possible in this base station. So there you go. Hope you could understand and digest all the information that I tried to share. Forgive me if you feel some of these are not accurate numbers. I tried to operate with a lot of assumptions and I will see you in the final video of the series, the baseband unit. And thank you so much for watching this.